Hey everyone, it's me Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to bring you guys along with me as I make some concoctions. Today I'm going to make be making rose water and rose hip oil. You guys have been mentioning this for a while how much rose oil, rose water is really really beneficial to your hair but I want to kind of dive in deep on the benefits of not only rose water but also rose oil. I want to kind of you know create a little something in my kitchen and bring you guys along with me in the process why am I doing this you might be wondering well it is like the middle of winter time and to be honest my hair has been suffering from dryness and I don't think it's because of my water intake not being fully there because I have been drinking a sufficient amount of water but um, it could also be for the fact that the winter is upon us you know and that's just not natural for everyone um it's natural for everyone to experience dryness with their hair in the winter seasons because it's so cold and it just happens so um i realized that i need to just find different ways to keep my hair moisturized number one i do use a moisturizing shampoo on my hair to make sure that my hair is not being stripped dry of all of its you know oils and stuff like that but I also understand that a moisturizing routine is just as important so I thought what better thing to use than roses We're, we are almost at the Valentine season and I thought I'd get a little cute and dressed up for this particular video so what better time than now than to use roses to benefit our hair and to just pour back love and just treat ourselves um, like the queens that we are you know pampering ourselves in that way and I just want to read off some of the benefits to you right here so the benefits of rose water are that number one it is an anti-inflammatory um, substance so it helps against redness in your you know whether you're dealing with redness or in, you know inflammation in your skin but it also helps those that may have eczema in their scalp Believe it or not, many of us do suffer from that and that is the one reason why um, people suffer from hair loss because of eczema in the scalp. Rose water is also known to be a great cleanser for the scalp because it helps to clean the scalp free of all of the debris and dirt that clogs up our pores. So I didn't realize this, but it really does help to cleanse. It's just like a tea tree, like it has a natural cleansing agent to it so you can use this in you know hair rinses you can use this um, as an oil you can use this as a spritz on your scalp every so often it's a really really great way of just putting back love on your scalp it also helps to hydrate revitalize and moisturize the hair and if you are dealing with dandruff rose water is also known to help treat the, the dandruff or at least fight against it and help you prevent any further flare-ups if you would <laughs> rose water is also an antioxidant and that means that it helps to regenerate skin cells it helps to strengthen skin cells so if you're using it on your face it's a great way to tone your skin um, after a nice you know face wash it also helps with the scalp so if it helps with the skin you know it helps with the scalp it helps to um, heal the scalp of whatever issues that may be occurring in the scalp it helps towards it I won't say for sure that it does treat 100% treat scalp conditions but it is a help towards uh, fighting against those uh, different scalp issues that you may or may not be dealing with. I also read that it is a mood enhancer so spraying a little bit of rose water on your pillow is a great way to just you know relax and get a great night's sleep. It also picks you up it helps to elevate your mood. I personally like citrus but this is also rose water is also known to do such things. And the last thing that I read is that it is a natural conditioner. So when I looked up rose oil, the benefits are also that it prevents hair loss, it adds shine, it is an anti-aging property, 
and it also is something that you can use in addition to whatever products that you use you can go ahead and drop a few drops of rose oil and it just completely enhances the products that you use in your day-to-day -day routine so now after allowing the water to boil and sit for an hour, my rose water is all complete. Of course, I already filtered out the rose petals. So now I'm just adding it into my spray bottle. So after you have combined the oil and the rose petals, what you're going to do is boil a pot of water and add your jar into the water. Um, and after it is, um, after it boils up, you will want to go ahead and turn off the stove and just allow it to sit for an entire day. Now that everything is all done, you can see there my spray bottle, but I went ahead and grabbed this empty applicator bottle that I used when I had Jamaican uh, black castor oil. Well, it finished, so now I'm using the same bottle to pour in my rose oil, and it's a really good bottle, like the quality, and I love the fact that it's an applicator nozzle, so I can just apply it straight to my roots. So here I'm using my rose water, and listen, sis, you gotta be careful with this thing because it sprays out purple. It sprays out like a nice plum color, um, not sure if it is ideal for people with light colored hair, um, but I have dark hair so it works for me. Um, but yeah, I would be a little concerned if I had hair that was lighter, like more blonde color. Um, yeah, so you just really have to be careful because rose water, well, the rose water that I made, is potent and it splashes all, all over the place like I saw a few spots of purple and come to find out it was the rose water but I've been using this rose water now for a few days and it really does help my locks to feel more moisturized my locks don't feel dry from the inside because if you know if you're like me and your locks get dry very quickly you can feel how dry it feels from the inside like it feels dry 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 and it's so difficult for us to find ways to keep our hair moisturized so so many of you guys have been talking about rose water and I thought about buying it but then I had a thought why don't I just use the rose petals that I have and make it myself so it's really really easy to make super easy and if you have a spray bottle you can just go ahead and put it in there and spray it to your roots every few days um, I do understand that this water can also be a, a rinse so after you wash your hair you can rinse your hair with rose water and it does help to strengthen your hair however I am using it as a leave-in um, spray that I can use every so often whenever my hair feels dry and needs some misting. Um, instead of using the hard water that I have out here in Connecticut, um, I'm going to start using this rose water and see how it works for me. So far it's really working really well and um, my hair feels more moisturized. Of course, I need a little bit more time with the rose water, but I'm already seeing results and I love it already. So here I am using my rose water and I'm really, really excited and interested to see how this will help me in the long run. Um, I am applying it straight to my roots because the rose water, oh, well, the rose oil is known to help scalp problems, dry scalp, itchy scalp, dandruff, things that I normally deal with in the winter seasons. I'm really, really excited to see how this will improve my scalp and really just help my scalp to feel even more healthier, help my roots feel more moisturized and just help my hair overall. Not saying that my hair is in a dreadfully bad state, but I just am always looking for natural ways to improve my hair and my scalp. So I know y'all always got something to say whenever I try something new, but hey, you have to try out things in order to know. And it does not hurt to try something that is all natural and that will help to improve your hair in the long run. So I love this um, moisture blend and I'm going to keep using it in addition to the Design Essentials 
oil that I have that will also be included in the Nazi Curl Club box for the spring 2020 season. Um, the design essentials will be in that box. So I'm really, really excited to share that with you guys and see how you guys love it as well and how it improves your hair too. Um, but yeah, I'm using this all over my head, including my edges. Um, I don't have any, you know, issues with my edges right now, but it doesn't help to prevent anything, you know, that may or may not happen. I'm just trying to prevent any further issues moving forward. And so I am using just a few drops here. I'm using just a few drops of this rose oil that is also blended with olive oil on the length of my hair, but I'm only using a little bit because I, if you guys saw, uh, if you guys saw a recent video, you know that I have dealt with buildup and um, I've been very transparent about that. So I just really want to prevent buildup and not use so many oils on the length of my locks because oils have a way of attracting lint, dust. I still want to make sure that my hair is moisturized, but I don't want to use so many oils that it ends up building up in my hair and attracting uh, different elements of the environment and the clothing that I wear. So already my hair feels great. And this is an all natural blend that you can try. You can make it in oil form for your scalp, for your hair, even for your skin. Guys, rose oil is great for your skin. Rose water is also great for your skin as well. It is known to be a really, really great natural face toner. So if you're looking to tone your skin and just even out your skin complexion and clear up a few blemishes, rose water is great for that. Um, and like I said earlier, rose water is also known to be a fragrance that you can use around your house. And it's all natural with no toxic ingredients. So here is pretty much what my hair looks like now that it's all finished and I have moisturized my hair. You guys can see my hair looks juicy, <laughs> if I can say so myself. Um, I'm still going to color my hair, okay? But right now I am in the process of building up my hair so that it can sustain and kind of you know stand up against the hair dye that I will be introducing soon so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you got some inspiration in it to per perhaps try it yourself it does not help to try out natural blends that help your hair and your scalp so thank you guys for watching subscribe if you are not and I'll see you in the next one later guys bye